five uh, victory against Barton tonight. Uh, just opening remarks. You know, I thought it, even before the game, I just felt like there was there was no energy anywhere, and it and it showed the first two minutes uh, where we just came out, and I just didn't think we were very focused. We we, we dug a nine nothing hole, and then uh, you know we kind of sub five in and five out, try to got a wake up call, and after that, I thought we were really good on both ends of the floor. Uh, not as good offensively in the in the first half. Uh, but very good defensively the rest of the way in the first half. And then just the second half, I just thought on both ends of the floor, we really played well. Uh, so uh, I think we were like seven for 14 or something from the three in the second half. And uh, uh, yeah, we just really opened it up, got the ball inside, had some nice high-low action, so some dump downs for layups, got to the free throw line. So yeah, a great second half and just really proud of our team. Uh, what was the message in that first time out? Obviously, got down 7 nothing through 90 seconds. I had heard uh, during the week that they said I wasn't in a real good mood. They didn't feel like I was in a real good mood. So I said, this is why I'm not in a good mood. I, I just didn't. I thought in practice, our practice started really good and then just waned at the end and our focus wasn't very good. And, I, and, and that's what I said. I said, we, we just got to pick it up. We just got to be better and, and be focused and locked in. And uh, I, I thought we kind of just, you know, we changed up. I thought Hannah gave us a boost coming off the bench. I thought Malia got a couple offensive rebounds, and that kind of gave us a spark. And then everybody uh, responded in a kind, and uh, yeah, just really, really turned the energy level around. We usually talk about Clay, but AP tonight, uh, 14 big points, four threes tonight. Just how would you talk about her? Performance? I watched her play, and I said that that's AP. That's AP right there. You know, that's the AP we know. Uh, that's the AP we've had, and uh, it, it's it's good to see her. We just kept talking, and I don't think I think you know, I'm speaking for you, but we've talked. I don't think her confidence level was really high. Hadn't played for a while, and her confidence level wasn't really high. And uh, you know, I think that's picking up, and then she's starting to play like she's capable of playing. And that's that's a great addition to our team. The AP, same question for you: 14 points, four threes. Is, how is it feeling out there tonight? Feels good. Feels good to be back. I just had to get my confidence up, like he said, and my mindset right. And it was really about my mindset. So. And then, uh, sort of, you know, down 7 nothing early. You guys fight that, take the lead towards the end of the half. What was sort of like the message to your girls in the locker room at halftime? Well, we always talk about the first five minutes. And I think in basketball games, first five is very important. Uh, the first five of the first half wasn't very good. So we felt like we need to set the tone the first five of the second half in terms of energy. And, and I think we quickly got a couple stops and maybe got a couple buckets pretty early in the second half. And, uh, and then just it's just strung it out. I mean, I keep looking at the clock. And I'm like, are we really up 18? Are we really up 22? Are we really up 26? And I mean, we just, we just spread that lead out, but we kept getting stops. And then th that led to our running game. I thought tonight was the best job we've done uh, pushing the ball, getting shots in transition also. And that's, you know, that's was kind of a focus at the beginning of the season. I don't think we've been really good at it. Uh, we were much better at it tonight, attacking in transition. And then the same question for AP and Kalea. How did y'all sort of take that message at halftime and sort of into, into the second half. Yeah, first half wasn't really like it was uncharacteristic of us. We were slacking on defense and wasn't really executing our offense. So, you know, just a wake up call like he said and had to lock in and just get our focus back. I think we really got it on defense, really picked up the energy from defensive end. You know, and I think that's the one thing about having a veteran team. We got five COVID seniors. I, you know, I talked about it in the Chawan game. I'm though they're losing my friggin' mind against Chawan and Clay. Like, hey, we got this. We got this. And, and they've got confidence. They've, they've, they're poised. Uh, I don't think they get rattled. So I don't think uh, the nine nothing start bothered them nearly as much as it bothered me. So, uh, but they, they just keep playing. And uh, you know, I just tell them, hey, you forty minute game. That's a long game. You keep grinding out over forty minutes. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, it's going to turn out in your favor. And then obviously last week, two road games, two really tough physical matches. But how important is it to get for any of you guys? How important is it to get maybe like a thirty point win like this tonight? Back in front of the home crowd. I didn't see this. I mean, I, you know, I looked at film. I saw Bart, and I was, yeah, scared, you know. And, and as a head coach, you're always scared to death. But I just, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't see this coming. But it, but it's nice to get that separation, get some people, uh, some playing time, and, and everybody contributed. I mean, uh, I, th I thought we had a lot of contributions uh, across the board, off the bench. I thought Jada did some good things for us in the first half when she came in with her athletic ability and gave us a spark. So, uh, yeah, it is good because you know we got Lee McCray this weekend, and then. Uh, I think we're going on the road for two tough ones next week. I think it's Francis Mary and North Greenville. I don't think we're one game ahead, but I think that's what we've got coming up. So we, we've got a tough stretch. Uh, we're going to have to play well. And then uh, 250 wins for you as a women's head coach. Just 
there's anything you would like to just sum it up. Just we talked about it during the broadcast, but does I, it feel like 250? I told, I told, I feel like I'm 250 years old. I told the team, uh, I said, uh, uh, you know, I'm just glad they didn't announce how many losses I had. So anyway, but I've just been coaching a long time, and uh, you know, we've had some. Had some uh, good, good teams, and we've had some just okay teams. But uh, uh, just been proud of the way our girls have competed and represented the university. Wonderful. Congratulations, Coach, and thank you, guys. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you.